Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to clear or reset your Arduino. For most people this question arises after they've uploaded the initial blink program, the very first program. They're like, okay, I have an LED blinking, now I want it to stop. I want my Arduino to be back to a sort of quasi out of the box state. Well, in order to do that, all you have to do is go to File, New, open up a new IDE window. I already have one open. And inside this new window, you enter the two function calls that every Arduino program needs. Void Setup and Void Loop. And just leave these two function calls empty. You're effectively telling the Arduino to set up nothing, no pin modes, etc., and to loop over nothing. To make it more explicit, you could say void setup, nothing. Void loop, nothing. And then you just upload this piece of code to your Arduino. And this will effectively stop the blink program or whatever program you previously had uploaded to the Arduino. <coughs> Excuse me. It will what this does is instructs the Arduino to only read what's in its registers up to 466 bytes. And what is within those registers is to set up nothing and to loop over nothing. And that's basically cleared it. That, and that is what people want. Now, has it technically cleared out everything that's beyond those 466 bytes? No, it hasn't. Whatever states or register states were set exceeding that 466, they're still there. But that, that little empty void setup and empty void loop, it cuts it off at 466 and so and there's nothing going on within that 466 so the Arduino is effectively as far as outward behavior goes and inward behavior doing nothing except pitching itself in an infinite loop which is perfectly fine microcontrollers do infinite loops very well that's in some sense what they're designed to do given they don't have an operating system so I now one might wonder there is a question that's relevant to this is if I upload couldn't I have just uploaded another program well yes you could just as well have set it hooked up some more LEDs to pins digital pins 5 6 and 7 deleted the this LED to pin 13 and had them blinking all you know in different rates and different times and uploaded that piece of code and if that piece of code exceeds the 2540 that was in this particular version of the blink program then you will have effectively overwritten the blink program you will have changed all the register states from whatever they were in the blink program then that's perfectly fine too you can just never essentially clear your arduino just have a program on it and run that program on it as long as you want and then when you want to run a new one on it just create it in the ide and upload it that works too but some people tend to want it to be in a sense cleared or reset so that for those people I hope this tutorial has helped now the final sort of concern some people may have is well if I write this kind of pro if I write a program and then I upload an empty void setup an empty void loop program after every time I want to clear the previous program aren't I in a sense wearing out the program memory. I mean every one of these uploads is a write to the Arduino. It's writing something in those registers and those registers do have a life cycle. And then it's around 10,000 plus write and erasure cycles. And so yes technically if you upload programs and then always clear them out before you shut the Arduino off you are wearing on your program memory but keep in mind it's 10,000 plus write and erasure cycles so the way I look at it is if you have written enough programs that you have worn out the program memory in a little on an Arduino 
whatever version of Arduino you're working with, you're probably so invested in the Arduino prototyping platform and doing cool little awesome projects with it that you're not going to care. You'll be more than willing to buy a $5 chip to plug into the Uno or willing to buy a $10 mini version or whatever, all the various options that are out there and the clones, etc. So this is just for those people who have a tendency to say, yes, I want it kind of cleared out or back to a sort of quasi factory state. Every time I plug it in, I want it to be fresh and ready to go. You can upload this little piece of code and it'll do that for you. Mm. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.